how y'all doing hey it's price and uh just want to bring you another video right quick um uh, my fan solenoid uh leaking air so i ran up to the parts store here locally and uh picked one up i already took the old one off so we're kind of gonna start this in the middle but uh anyway i'll take you through and kind of show you where it goes how to put it on and all that stuff real quick short down and dirty let's right. get with it so the fan solenoid mounts on this bracket right here you got one layer line that goes back here to the supply and then you got the air line that comes out of the top and if you follow it on around right here it goes see it right here it goes right there and up into your fan clutch well like i say mine was leaking it was just blowing air back through here which i guess that diaphragm or whatever's inside there has gone bad but uh anyway all right so you're gonna need seven sixteenths or i think if you got metric uh, that kind of goes around about on 11 something like that but uh, you're gonna need 7 sixteenths uh, that's what mine is anyway and it's just a matter of putting the nut and bolt on that bracket all right let me get this and i'll get right back with you they didn't at the part store they didn't have a replacement for this so i'm just using the old one uh personally i would say replace them but all you do is just screw them in make sure you get the tip facing where it needs to be same as with this bottom one here you just screw it right in and like i said i would replace i would i would advise to replace those because a lot of times they get to where they leak out here they get a bunch of trash in there and stuff like that and it causes leaks and the last thing you want is the dot to be doing an inspection and say i hear a tiny air leak and get to looking and that's just something right here these fittings that they can write you up for so i'm gonna go ahead and get these tightened up it's just a matter of putting a wrench on them and and tightening them down and i'll get back to you in a second all right so this piece right here does not come with the new one you've got to transfer this one over off of your old one this one will thread on up here on the top just make sure you don't cross thread this all right because it's brass brass will strip out real easy so i'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up and then i'll bring you back and uh when i cut this off and show you you see the reason i'm cutting it off is because it's got a little dent right there in it i don't know if you can see that or not but i can hang my nail in it so i'm gonna cut that off like I said, I'm going to cut it off right back up here, and then we'll put it in. Alright, so I got it cut off. And with these, what you want to do is, you want to put that hose in there and push it all the way forward, and then pull back. The reason that moved is because I've only got one bolt up here. I had to change this bracket. Uh, basically, just had to kind of make one, because... The one that this was supposed to fit on had broke but it works so i got my airlines done now i've just got to do the power and what you got to do is you can buy a new switch or a new plug i'm just going to cut this one off here and wire it onto here and get it taped up and everything like that and uh 
I'll show you that here in just a minute when it's done. Alright, so I got the old plug wired on. I got some heat shrink on it right here. I'm fixing to heat that up and shrink it down. Heat shrink. Alright, so you can kind of see now I, I heated it up and got it shrunk down and everything like that. You can see how it how it does. That's why they call it shrink tape. It sucks down on there with heat and gives you a pretty good seal. I always do mine a little bit long like that, especially on somewhere up here in the front. There's going to be oil and water and all kinds of crap coming in up through here. So, you know, I always make them a little bit longer. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, do some tape on this. And we will be pretty much ready to button it up and crank it up and give it a test. Okay, so you can see, got it taped up everything got it plugged in just double check everything make sure i got everything tight everything's on yada yada yeah all right i'm gonna crank it up and air the system up and then turn the truck off and i'll bring the video back when i'm out here listening looking checking smelling sniffing whatever to see if we got a leak here all right tempo will be back in a minute all right we got a success no air leaks at the fittings here it's not coming back through here so everything's good all right so there you go quick and simple fix again uh here in the front yard but uh i just thought i'd bring this video to y'all and show you something else like i said you can you can do yourself and uh, minimal tools I think I needed uh, 7 16 and a half inch and I did use a crescent wrench but very simple so y'all be cool have a good day and put some of that money in your own pocket instead of paying these shops to do everything that's the price and I'm out of here